just wait while the music plays. as you place this ring on place for All just witnessed Clay and Tessa pledge their lives in exchange for rings symbolizing the endless nature of their love. They wish to further symbolize the strength of their commitment with a love lock ceremony. A lock and key can symbolize so much. For Clay and Tessa, it symbolizes the opening of their hearts to one another, and a lock and a commitment that now binds them together. It's important to understand that the key to love is the ability to comprehend. 
not only the spoken words, but those unspoken gestures, the little things that say so much by themselves. It's giving without thought of return, but with hope of just a simple smile, and giving in, but never giving up. The key to love is forgiveness, to accept one another's faults and pardon mistakes. It is sharing together and facing your good fortunes as well as your bad, conquering problems and forever searching for ways to intensify your mutual friends. A mate is someone who has locks that fit your keys and keys to fit your locks. No matter what goes on around you, it's that one person you are safe and secure. Your husband or wife is someone who shares your deepest longings, your sense of direction. Play and Tessa, your hearts, bodies, and minds are joined together in a bond that constitutes the sanctity of marriage. These knots demonstrate that you are forever joined together in a lifelong partnership and an abiding friendship. A promise between two people and God that you will forever be one and that your oneness will complement and complete the two of you. These locks represent your recognition of the dedication and courage necessary for securing a strong and healthy marriage. Tessa and Clay, I would point you to the keys, and particularly the giver of the keys. We've spoken of the keys to a forever life together, selflessness, forgiveness, acceptance of faults, <coughs> unconditional love, and more. Never forget that the source of that strength comes from above. Remember Christ's words in Matthew 16 and verse 19. He states, I will give you the keys, the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind, bind together on earth, will be bound in heaven. Now, as you join your separate lives into one, I invite you to lock your locks together, symbol of your commitment to each other. I truly know you were the one I saw how amazing you were in the freeway. I've seen you pure, loving heart since the first time I met you. You always uplift and make others around you better, like you have done to me since the start of our relationship. Today, as we start our life together, I promise you the best husband I can be each and every day of our life. I promise to always be your favorite dance partner, adventure buddy, and protector. I promise to lift you up and hold you in the highest regard as my wife each and every day. I promise to put a new girl on TV when we can't fall asleep <laughs> or rewatch the Marvel movies in order who knows how many times. I promise to always be down for new house projects or spontaneous trips to Target or Hobby Lobby, which everyone knows you love. I promise to keep you on your toes and keep life interesting as we continue to grow together. I promise to always be your best friend and make sure your every need is met and every want is reached to the best of my ability. I'm so excited about our future together and all that comes with it. Play Kevin Tucker. I know that God created you specifically for me. And has been preparing both of us for this day for when we get to become husband and wife. People often talk about how difficult relationships are and honestly, I just can't relate. People say love is hard, yet our love is the easiest, most special thing I've ever experienced. After over four years of love and laughter with you, I'm so ready to be your wife. I can remember the first time we hung out, I felt like I had known you my whole life. The conversations were easy and effortless, and the laughs were genuine. Well, most of them. <laughs> I remember telling my college roommates at that time, I'm going to date that guy the next day. Even though neither of us were looking for a relationship, I knew you were my one. From day one, you have been my calm, my constant, and my comfort, and I have always been your chaos. <laughs> As I hold the hands of my best friend, of the absolutely right person for me, I vow to love you more for the rest of our lives. 
When I say I love you more, I don't mean that I love you more than you love me. I mean that I love you more than the bad days ahead of us. I love you more than any fight we may ever be in. And I love you more than any distance or obstacle that may ever come between us. I cannot promise I will always be the perfect wife, but I promise to love you through the good times and bad, to choose our love every single day. I promise to always fight with you and for you, never against you. I promise to always be your biggest fan, confidant, and best friend. I promise to remember we are not perfect, only perfect for each other. I promise to love you without hesitation or boundaries from this day forward for the rest of my life. You are my better half, my best friend, my dream come true, and now my husband. I can't wait to love you more forever. We thank you, Lord, for all the people that are in attendance, family and friends that have been a blessing to Tessa and Clay for so many years. Lord, we thank you for bringing them together. We thank you for giving them their unique individual personalities that complement one another. What a blessing that they're now together as husband and wife forever. Father God, we pray for your blessing upon them as they begin their married life and as they go throughout the years. May they fully rely on you. May they trust you in each and every situation. May you help them in the difficult days to be faithful and loving and respectful. Lord, we thank you for Clay's parents and his family that has raised him so well to be this fine young man that's now married our daughter. What a blessing to have him join our family. We pray, Lord, that you'll help each one of us as we go through the years to encourage them, to challenge them, and to help them as they go through married life together and start a family. Lord, we thank you for this food and this time of celebration. We pray that your name will be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Go, Dad. Okay, first of all, thank you to everybody for being here today uh, and helping make this day even more special, right? I mean, what a great couple. Uh, we're all so blessed to have them in our lives and, and what they mean to all of us, and I think it it shines clear today by all of us being here. Um, especially want to shout out to my friends from Green Bay that showed up today. Thank you for coming down. Thank you for your lame go pack go chant. But, but just to remember one thing, you are in enemy territory. Let's show them how it's done. Skull, skull, skull. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! That's how it's done, people. Man, did that feel good living in Green Bay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, real quick, um, just one quick story. Um, one thing that really resonated today with Matt, what a great job. Did Matt do a great job today or what? Uh, that was impressive, seriously. But anyway, one thing that resonated with what he said, and I heard so many other people say, is that without a doubt, Tessa and Clay are best friends first, right? And I, th and I heard them even in their, I think in, in your vows, they said something about allowing them each to be themselves and helping them be the best version of themselves that they can be. But we all have weaknesses, right? We all have something that, you know, need your gap filled or whatever. Well, Tessa does have a gap. Clay, I'm not sure if you can fill this, but I do have a question for you. If I held up a map of the United States, could you go put a pin on the city you live in? Oh, thank God. 
<laughs> Thank God. At least you can get her back home. All right, I won't embarrass her anymore. <laughs> but anyway, a quick cheers to not us losing a daughter, but 1,000% gaining a son. Uh, I could not be happier and more proud of you both. I know that goes for the whole extended family. So cheers to Tessa and Clay. Well, hello everybody. I'm Kevin, Clay's dad. And, and, and that beautiful young lady's newest dad. So congratulations. Hey, um, I remember when um, Clay and Tessa were dating for about a year, year and a half. And we went to the casino. Do um, you remember what that was for? My birthday. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we we're sitting there listening to this nice country band play, and all of a sudden, this blonde sits in the chair next to me, and I looked over, and it's Tessa. And she gives me an elbow and says, Hey, I've been around a year, and I'm still here. I think I knew right then that she was here to stay, so I'm glad you're still here. <laughs> but anyway, let's do a little thing here. Um, I want to, anybody that's been married 10 years or less, stand up. Okay, anybody that's been married 10 years to 20 years, stand up. No, stay standing. Stay standing. 10 to 20 years, up. 20 to 30 years, stand up. That, that includes us, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, or, yeah, we're into 30 to 40, so stand up. 30 to 40, stand up. And 40 to 50, stand up. 50 to 60, stand up. Do we, and do we have any 60 to 70 years? A anybody higher than that? Okay, wow, look at that. That's a lot of years of marriage right there. <laughs> Sorry. And that's what we wish for you guys. Many, many years of happiness. That's all I got. I have to look at you a little bit, but not too much. Oh, Tessa Gale, there is so much that I want to say to you that I really can't even put into words, let alone a speech. Uh, so I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet, mainly to uh, keep the tears to a minimum. Tessa, you are the sun. You shine brighter than anyone I have ever met. You radiate light, beauty, and joy, and you brighten the lives of everyone you meet. Oh gosh, already. <sighs> Your energy is infectious, and you have always been such an amazing friend to those lucky enough to be in your life, as evidenced by the insane number of close friends who stood up with you today. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, I'm Tessa's older sister, Britta. 
but I have had several other titles over the past 26 years. When we were kids, I was her built-in playmate, twin, and partner in crime. We were inseparable from the start, making dance routines in the basement, peppering the volleyball in the yard, playing eeny eeny over, and giggling in the back seat of the car trip, annoying everyone else in the suburban. As we grew up, I became her chauffeur, teammate, alibi, protector, and best friend. Even through her interesting middle school cool girl phase, moving twice as teenagers, and all the ups and downs that life threw at us, we always had each other, and every bump in the road brought us closer. I will always remember the ultimate Grey's Anatomy marathons, the no seniors allowed bonfires, <laughs> and our favorite things meals, where we would drive around to get crunch wraps from Taco Bell, potato lays from Taco John's, strawberry cheesecake pie from Perkins, and chocolate frosties from Wendy's. <laughs> and it has been the absolute privilege of my life to hold those titles and witness that little girl grow into the bright, caring, witty, kind, and overall phenomenal woman standing next to me, or sitting next to me today. But today, it's time to pass a few of those titles on. I got this. All right. <laughs> I first heard about Clay one week after Tessa had insisted she had absolutely no interest in dating anyone for a long time and was going to be single for the first time since kindergarten. <laughs> when, I, when I saw her face after she described him, I knew she was a goner. After getting to know him over the years, I know exactly what hooked her. Clay is somehow even nicer than Tessa. He is so kind, considerate, giving, and patient, while still being strong and subtly hilarious. I cannot imagine a more perfect partner for my sister. He is the calm to her crazy. He puts up with all her shenanigans because, let's be honest, she can be a lot. And he always makes sure she's taken care of, whether that's picking up her favorite food or cleaning up after a little too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> but Clay can always hold his own at a party, in a conversation, and on the dance floor with Walt Works as his specialty. <laughs> um, I have already felt this way for a while, but I am so excited for you to officially be my brother. I always thought this changing of the guard would be bittersweet. That there was no way someone could love her as much or care for her as well as I do. But today it is all sweet with no hint of bitter. I know she is in the best possible hands and I have full confidence he can handle the responsibility. So Clay, she's your problem now. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll still do my part in our hours on FaceTime every week. I will keep the role of sister, confidant, and hype girl but I am officially bestowing upon you the role of her partner, caregiver, and protector. The best friend title, though, is one we will have to agree to share. So let's raise a glass to this beautiful couple, to a long, happy marriage, and to my retirement. They say that the perfect best man speech should be as long as it takes the groom to make love. So cheers and thank you. 
Um, those were thin walls, Clay. My name is Zach, and I have had the honor of knowing Clay and Tessa since the beginning of college. I met Clay on the first day of school, and to be honest, I thought it would be the last. He was this quiet, shy guy who just sat there and smiled. No words at all. Sound familiar, Levi? Uh, but thanks to Ben, I started seeing Clay around more often when they would play FIFA until one or two in the morning in our dorm rooms. After that, Clay ended up moving directly below us and thus, and thus our bromance begun. We all lived together in college, throughout college, going from four grown ass men in bunk beds to 1132 Highland, where we would share too many good stories to share, or rather stories that we probably shouldn't share in front of our parents or anyone we respect. I had known Tessa already through the nursing program, so when I found out that they had the hots for each other, I knew that was it. Clay was crazy about Tessa from the get-go. We all went on spring break back in senior year, and all of us guys could tell that he wanted to date her and make it official. Unfortunately, Tessa didn't do so well in the sun and got quite a sunburn on her face and her body. Clay, being the kind and innocent man that we all love, saw that as the perfect opportunity to ask her out. <laughs> Great timing, Clay. I think that shows, though, just how loyal, understanding, and clueless you can really be sometimes. <laughs> in all seriousness, Clay, you have found someone who brings out the best in you in every single way. I've never met someone who makes you happier, except maybe a drunken late night Jimmy John sandwich. Tessa. You have found a man who will do anything for you and be by your side to the very end. So you better treat him right or I'll be taking him back. <laughs> it is a blessing to be a part of both your lives and to call you my friends. I can't wait to see where life takes you and what the two of you will make of it. I love you both and just remember, Clay, when life gets hard, clam chowder. Thanks, bud. That's an inside joke. Cheers, everyone. start dancing um, just a couple things you know keep drinking all the stuff out there cookie dough there's lots of it so have lots of it try all the flavors all that stuff um, we again just want to say thank you for coming here today and celebrating with us uh, we are could not be happier at all about how this whole day turned out and who's here to celebrate with us so I already grabbed my drink. oh let's grab another drink raise it up and let's cheers to the rest of our life and a great night tonight. Let's party. Woo!